Hello Slingshot owners, Brandon here with Slingmods.com and today we have our full front and rear windshield system for the Polaris Slingshot. Back in mid-2019, we launched a modular rooftop system from the guys over at Slinglines. Now that top allows you to run in full shade mode or in T-top mode for partial shade and allows the roof to pivot up and out of the way for easy exit and entry into the slingshot when you reach your destination. Now since its debut, this rooftop has been a very hot seller for us due to its price point and modularity. Now as you can see, the reviews have been overwhelmingly positive with one five-star review after another. Now the guys over at Slinglines are all about extending the riding season as long as possible. So they've developed a very extensive add-on package that gives your Slinglines rooftop system a slew of new features, allowing you to enjoy your slingshot in those colder months. The kit includes a fully enclosed polycarbonate front windshield with a bolt-on thermoform plastic base that hugs your dash for precision fit and completely blocks headwind from entering into the cabin. Now the reason the manufacturer chose to go with polycarbonate for the front windshield is because it's strong. Really strong. Okay, you get the point. This kit also includes a windshield with rubber weather stripping and an upper windshield support with integrated rain gutter. You also get both driver and passenger adjustable air wings that allow you to control airflow into the cabin. These air wings also act as a watershed feature in conjunction with the upper rain gutter. Now, in addition to the front rain gutter, you'll also get both driver and passenger rear rain gutters. Now these are used to direct water that may build up in the inner gutter during wet conditions and allow that water to run down the side gutters back and away from both you and your passenger. These side gutters can also be folded up and out of the way when driving in dry weather conditions. Now when you completely close off the front of the slingshot with a full windshield, a vortex is created from behind the slingshot that actually sucks air into the cabin from the rear of the vehicle. So to prevent you from getting a neck full of cold air and or water, this kit also includes a full rear polycarbonate windshield. This rear shield is hinged, allowing you to tilt the shield up and away from the cabin for easy cleaning. And lastly, the kit includes a pair of polycarbonate rear deck hub gap fillers. Now these gap fillers are also upgradable to our black plastic gap fillers, since we found that cleaning these little polycarbonate pieces can be a bit cumbersome for some people since it's such a small service area. And now that you know what the kit includes, I'm gonna walk you through how to install this kit on your Slingline's rooftop system. Start by unscrewing the two front lugs and set the front section of roof onto the back for now. Then take the new windshield roof support panel and place it over the two front bar clamp studs. Add the front roof section back over that and tighten it back down with the two lugs. Now pop open your hood and unscrew these three T25 Torx screws holding your factory windshield in place. Then tilt the shield forward and up to lift it straight up and off. Then install the new windshield the same way. Tilt it forward and slide it down into the two slots in the dash. And then tighten it down with the same screws, but this time only the two outside ones. Now take these two bar clamps and make sure the one with the notch is on top 
Then just push the clamps onto the bars, making sure that the short end is on top for the top clamp. And that the short end is at the bottom for the bottom one. Then you can attach the wind deflector using the new shorter lugs from the kit. Now slide it all the way up till it stops and attach the end clamp stopper to the bar underneath the bottom clamp. Line it up so that the gap is on the inside. Drill a 1 8 inch hole through the bar and then insert a rivet to hold it in place. Next, turn the air wing in so that you have a finger's width of space between it and the dash. Then take this silver spacer and insert it into the top inside knot so that it sits flat on the bar and inside the curve. Drill a 1 8 inch hole through the spacer and into the bar. And then insert a rivet to hold it in place. This will stop the air wing from turning in and rubbing against your dash, as well as hold it open when you want some more fresh air into the cabin. And repeat that same process for the other air wing. Now from inside the cabin, pull down on the new windshield support panel mounted to the roof so that the edge sits flush with the roof brace. Then take a quarter inch drill bit and drill a hole one inch from the back edge through both panels and then another hole one inch after the edge of the support panel just through the roof brace. And then repeat that process for the other side. You'll keep that pin in the front hole location on both sides of the vehicle when traveling in T-top mode. This will keep the plastic upper windshield support and rain gutter in place while driving. When driving in full shade mode, you'll lay that upper lid back on top of the plastic windshield support bracket and move the push pins to the rear hole location on both sides of the vehicle. This will allow you to tilt the roof forward as one piece. Next, take the two bar clamps and attach them to the roof bars above the seats, making sure that the short end is at the front on the front clamp and the short end is at the rear for the rear clamp and then attach the rain gutter with the two lugs. Now take your 1 8 inch drill bit and drill a pilot hole one inch from the edge of your rain gutter on the rear roof panel. Then take a step drill bit and drill out a half to 5 8 inch hole. This will allow any excess water in the center rain gutter to exit out the rear gutter and out the side of the vehicle. Next, you're going to remove these two T40 torque screws from behind your roll hoops. Insert the rear deck hump gap filler, and then insert the same two T40 torque screws finger tight at first, before tightening it down the rest of the way, making sure not to over tighten. Now place the rear shield in place over the back side of the roll hoops. Line it up so that it's centered on the rear fin. Then take a tack screw and screw it into the roof support. This will hold the shield in place so that you can take your 1 8 inch drill bit and drill through the other hole on the hinge into the roof support. And then add a rivet to hold it in place. Next, you can remove that tack screw and replace it with the rivet finishing up the rear windshield.
Now protecting you and your passenger from the frigid air or the occasional torrential downpour. It's on your list of to do's. Then be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today or click that link in the description below to grab a full front and rear windshield system for your sling lines top. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date with everything Slingshot. I'm Brandon, signing out. Till next time.